All right. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, hi, everyone. Um, today, Amy and Demiral from Queen Mary and I uh, from JKU will present you our uh, topic uh, that we have started at the Sandbox event in London uh, titled Real Time Recitatives to Score Alignment. Um, yes, uh, this task is uh, inside a more general task co called uh, Opera Tracking, which aims at um, doing real time audio to audio alignment between two performances, one used as the reference and one used as a target that we want to align. Uh, and uh, Opera Tracking aims at retrieving the current score position through time. Recitatives are uh, a part, an important part in opera. Uh, they are the heart of the opera. Uh, they allow a fast progression in the story, and they emphasize the text content and not the accompaniment. A nice definition of the recitative is that it is a rhythmically free vocal style that imitates the natural inflections of speech. Um, if you apply the state-of-the-art methods of um, opera tracking on, on Don Giovanni performance, uh, which involves like a performance to reference alignment method, uh, there is a weak accuracy on uh, recitatives. Um, as you can see in the table, uh, the, and if you use a threshold of one second, you can see that the state-of-the-art method is allowed to detect around 90% uh, of the bars uh, below an error of one second. But if you limit the data set of just the recitatives, uh, it drops to 66%. Of course, inside recitatives, there are many challenges, such as the acoustic conditions, uh, where the voice quality is altered during the actor's movement on the stage. Also, the singing voice is acted, so uh, it can be whispered, spoken, or sung. And the accompaniment is improvised and played by dis uh, different instruments. Um, I wanted to show you uh, an example. Uh, it's the beginning of the Act 2, Scene 2 of Don Giovanni by Mozart. Uh, you can see on the right uh, the screenshot of the score where I added some markers in blue referring to Korean performance and in red of Fisher performance, where the accompaniment decides to play the chord. Let's listen at Korean. Amico, che ti par? Mi par che abbiate un'anima di bronzo. Voilà, che sei durando un so. Ascolta bene, quando costa qui ieri, tu corri ad abbracciarla. Okay, and let's listen to Fisher now. Okay, thank you Charles for your um, detailed introduction of the project. So in addition to what Charles mentioned uh, about the differences in uh, different performances of the same composition, uh, there are many musical uh, aspects that change as well. Uh, in this slide, we see uh, two different uh, excerpts of two different performances uh, of the same uh, singing the same score uh, in the uh, which is shown in the, uh, shown below. Um, from the green lines, which are the pitch tracks, we can see the pitch tracks are different. Um, so let's listen to these samples first. Row, row, row your boat. And the other one. So as we have heard, uh, the tempo changes, the, the pace changes, the prosody changes, the pitch track changes, uh, the genders are different, and even the acoustic conditions may be different. Um, but we know that uh, the linguistic content or the lyrics stay the same. That's why uh, we uh, have taken the strategy to align uh, the reference and the target recordings uh, based on their linguistic content, as it stays the same in the both recordings. To do that, we use the acoustic model of a pre-trained, powerful, automatic risk transcription system. Uh, and then, we, using this acoustic model, we apply forced alignment to obtain timestamps of the words uh, from the reference recording. Uh, 
To mention, forced alignment is the process of finding the best path in, an, in a signal uh, given its acoustic observations. So in this case, our um, sequence will be the word sequences. So once we obtain uh, the word and uh, time, in time stamp pairs for the reference audio, we apply the same for the target recording. And we obtain the same word timestamp pairs for the target recording as well. Since the word sequences are the same uh, for both of the recordings, when we obtain the timestamps um, of these words in the audio signal, we automatically obtain the positions uh, in, the, in, the, in the score, in the reference score. So that is the main idea of uh, the strategy, the approach that we are proposing in this project. To train our acoustic model, we have used the combination of three Italian corpora. The first one is called MLSPKA, which is an um, two hours of corpus curated for phoneme recognition purposes. We also use the Italian subset of the common voice corpus released by Mozilla. And in it, so these are speech data. Uh, in order to add some singing data in our training data set, we add the Italian subset of the DAMP repository, which is released by the SMU. Once we train this acoustic model, uh, we test the performance of the word recognition on two different performances of the Don Giovanni, uh, Mozart's Don Giovanni composition, conducted by two different co uh, conductors. So far, um, we were able to achieve, we were able to co uh, construct a system uh, using the data, uh, training dataset that we have created. And we have assembled and extended a pronunciation dictionary for Italian, which is a core element for the automatic lyrics transcription system that we are using. Um, even though we are not able to uh, achieve robust word transcriptions for opera singing in Italian, we were able to achieve good phoneme level alignments, though it is offline. So uh, let me show you um, one um, uh, example, uh, one small demonstration of it. So uh, can we see the Sonic Visualizer um, yeah, yeah. interface? Okay, so I slowed down the recording a little bit. So in, in these segments, we see the, we see the phonemes um, of the recording aligned automatically on time. And note that we are not using any ground truth here, so the alignment is performed on the on the whole audio. So let's listen to that. Okay, so I think that's enough to have an idea uh, of how the system works at this moment. Um, so, okay. Are we in the slides again? Can, can, we, yeah. can you see me? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So the thing is, this forced alignment is performing on an, in an offline fashion, and in our uh, in the in, in our project, our main target is to achieve that in real time. So that remains as a challenge, as a bottleneck. To apply uh, this online alignment, we need a robust word recognition system, uh, and for that, consequently, we need lots and lots of training data to, uh, that can generalize. And the system for opera recordings. Yes, and of course, by training data, maybe we need also like opera training data, which is a lake uh, of available data. So we plan to do annotations on opera uh, recordings at the sentence level um, to uh, get more data, training data. We also want to compare this uh, method that we presented to another one involving uh, GTW-based alignment uh, with uh, recitative-specific features. And as a long plan, we uh, hope that this work will be a way of publishing this uh, new um, recitative to lyric alignment method uh, further during the year. Thank you. Thank you.